name is Rich Harrington and welcome to this edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today I want to show you how you can create your own custom brushes using textures or sampled strokes. In this case here I have a few different brush strokes. A couple of these were actually created with natural media. On the left here I have a photo sample and these were actually just made with marker on rough surface. I then scan them in to create a brush stroke that I'd like. If you want to capture a brush stroke, you can go ahead and just lasso around it and choose Edit Define Brush Preset. And I'll call this X Barbed Wire. Now, let's make a new document and we'll start to paint with that brush. Now, when I paint, I prefer to actually use a tablet. So as you see here, I've just got a small tablet. This particular one is made by Wacom, and it allows me to use a pressure sensitive pen to create my strokes. Let's go ahead and hit our brush, B for brush, and we're gonna go ahead and call up the brushes panel under the window menu here. There's my brush preset. I'll pull that down and I'll grab my regular brush panel. Now one easy way to get at this is to just actually choose the painting workspace and you'll see that they become readily available there. And there's the last created one of our custom brush. Now in order to tweak this, I'm gonna pull this off and make it a little easier to see. And we've got all sorts of options here. I could play with the smoothing of the brush. I could play with the spacing of the brush. And I'm gonna actually tweak the size here. So there's a little variation. And I'll turn on dynamics and say, as the pen pressure gets greater, tweak the size and the angle. And we'll set that to pen tilt. And here we go. As we start to draw now, watch. If I push lightly, I get a very small stroke. If I push harder, I get a much bigger stroke. As I tilt the pen, I get variation. So in this case, that little X that I use to create a custom brush looks a bit like stitches or a seam. We can continue to refine that by actually playing under the brush tip shape, and we could increase the amount of spacing there, so it's a little wider. That looks pretty cool. Let's go back and choose a new brush here, M for marquee and I'm going to grab this sort of rough texture here that looks like a felt tip and choose Edit Define Brush Preset and we'll give it a name and we call this Felt Tip. There we go. Let's switch over here. D for default. We'll clear that out and let's just grab a color. There we go. Choose our brush there it is at the bottom. B for brush, so it's active. I've got it selected. We could play with the size of the brush here, the spacing, as well as tweak the angle a bit and actually rotate this as necessary. I'll pull that spacing in a little bit. And come on over to dynamics and say, you know what, go ahead and have a little bit of jitter of the size based upon how hard I press. That's making it look more like a natural felt tip pen. And go ahead and set a minimum diameter so it doesn't go below 50% of the original brush stroke. This way I get variation, but it won't completely taper off, much like a real felt tip marker would. You'd always get certain of a basic stroke, but if you pushed harder, you'd get a thicker stroke. And we'll go ahead and put a little bit of angle in there, base that upon pen tilt and a little bit of roundness also based upon the tilt. That looks good. Put a little scattering in there just so it moves it up and down just a bit. There we go. And let's start our stroke. Come on over here, grab it here, and just start to draw. And notice we get nice variation. Now we got all sorts of controls in there. We could play with the size jitter, come back to the brush tip shape and pull the spacing in a bit. And you're gonna to wanna to experiment with those custom brushes 
until you get the strokes you like. But notice we've got some very nice natural media strokes here that we can use to create our own custom looks. Defining your own brush presets is a great way to building up your collection. You can then share those online or actually find other people who've done the same and really get a nice library of brush strokes to build up your painting options with Adobe Photoshop. Mm -hmm.